So when you're on the road with WWE traveling within North America, all the expenses are covered by the talent. Now, when I mean expenses, I'm talking about rent a car, food, hotels, gyms. Those are primarily all the expenses that you need while you're on the road. Now, a lot of people, when you tell them that, they're you know, flabbergasted. They, they would think that a major company such as that would cover those expenses. Um, however, when you're in North America, those expenses are covered by the talent. Now, when you go overseas, <clears throat> um, then, of course, the company takes care of hotels. Um, there's always catered food. And we travel primarily on big buses. So they usually had two buses for the town. I don't know how it works now, but that's the way it was back then. So um, in any given weekend, saying you're on a raw brand back then, it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You know, four nights with hotels, four nights with rental cars, fuel, restaurants, depending on how much you ate and what type of lifestyle you led. Um, a typical week could easily cost you between $1,500 to $3,000. Again, depending on how many people were traveling together, um, how many, how often you ate. Like personally, myself, it was not uncommon to spend between $150 to $250 a day just on restaurants because of the fitness lifestyle that I led, eating six to seven full meals a day. You know, when you're in restaurants and you order, for example, a breakfast, <clears throat> typical breakfast for me would be 10 egg whites, a bowl of oatmeal, maybe some fruit, and uh, some coffee. Well, with a tip, that's easily $25. However, I would eat six meals a day, so that meal times twice, you're looking at 50 with tip maybe a little bit more now a typical lunch would be two chicken breasts some vegetables a sweet potato coffee maybe some maybe a drink again 25 to 30 dollars but i would also get another meal exactly like that to go again with tip you're easily looking at 30 30 dollars times two there's another 60. so Again, $150 to $250 a day was not uncommon on restaurants. You know, always depending on what you ate, so so on and so forth. Then, of course, there's the rent a car. So, saying you were two or three guys, that would cut costs, but it always became a nuisance during tax time because the person who would pay for the rent a car would have to write you out a personal receipt which sometimes with your CPA, CPA is a certified personal accountant, that could get tricky, you know, because you're one independent contractor writing a receipt for another independent contractor. Personally, looking back, if I could redo it, I'd travel alone, so I'd have the actual receipt, you know, for myself and my name. Um, but again, depending on what size rent a car you buy or rent, um, uh, the price would vary. Um, typically anywhere from 80 to a hundred dollars a day there. And then of course there's the hotel. Um, uh, not everybody wants to stay at the Marriott or the Sheridan, or, <laughs> but not everybody wants to stay at the Motel 6 either. So you try to find a happy medium. Um, so a senior's thing at a Holiday Inn Express or uh, a Hampton Inn, something like that, you're easily looking at 100 to $150 a night there. And of course, the price of fuel, drop-off fees for the rent a car, gym fees, tanning fees, because of course, it's a cosmetic business. You're spending a lot of money on your look, your attire. And then, of course, there was the dress code. So uh, by 2004, 
the company had instituted a dress code to where if you weren't dressed in nice collared shirt, like a polo shirt, um, slacks, nice dress shoes, you were then fined $500. Again, I don't know how it works now. I'm assuming it's probably the same. Maybe they've le lessened the rules on that. But that was strictly in force. Um, $500 fine if you didn't show up while at work. So four to five days a week um, dressed. In, and then, <clears throat> again, you have to pay for that out of your own pocket. Now, mind you, the contracts back then were far less than what they are now. And the standard um, TV contract was $75,000. Um, again, the years that I was there, there was primarily one company. There was no other brand. It was completely monopolized. So you basically had to do it or, you know, not follow your dream because there was pretty much nowhere else to go. Um, so, yeah. So, again, being an independent contractor, uh, you're in a different tax bracket. I'm not sure if it was 35% or 38%. Um, right. And then you have to have your own certified personal accountant, a CPA, because you couldn't go to like an H&R block or your regular tax accountant. You had to have a certified personal accountant, CPA, to do your taxes, which was another, depending on, on who you got, those could be quite expensive as well because of the amount of travel, the amount of work that goes into filing taxes for a live entertainer that travels as much as a WWE superstar travels. You know, within a given year, you could be in as many as 50 states and I don't know, maybe five to 10 different countries, you know? So, um, so yeah, so it was very, very, um, the expenses were very high and unless you were on a solid, solid spot on the card, um, and you were making well above your guarantee, um, the money wasn't really that great as opposed to now from what I'm hearing, um, the, the contracts are much more lucrative. However, <laughs> uh, the the price of everything has gone up because of inflation. So, and of course, the more money you make, the more money you have to eventually give to the tax man, which we all know about. So that just gives you an insight on a little bit of how uh, the expenses um, of a WWE superstar back in the day. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Cafe de Renee. Thank you for watching the video. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. This channel is supported by the Cafe de Renee community on Patreon. If you'd like to get some extra content such as Match of the Week, Pay-Per-View Watch Alarms, Breaking News Specials in Professional Wrestling, and much, much more. For only the price of a coffee, you can show your appreciation for the content that we create and get some reward for doing so. Click the link in the description below. Also, don't forget to follow Cafe de Renee on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Thank you.